back with a update. We'll it seems like weekly. If there's any particular reason, we'll jump in. Sometimes we just do other videos as such at those moments, as opposed to another SEE or self experiment. Number 10, we're in here real quick. We're just going to come into our account and harvest this. Actually, let's check out where we at with it. Oh, price dropping a little bit. It was up to um, like $12.30 or earlier. Not much, but anyway, which pool should we go into? Jewel Phantom? Yeah, just going to even ease out. You know, there's no particular reason, but just to have a plan. Then from there, I'll just rotate through. But I'm going to claim all of these jewels now because this is about probably, I can tell you. How much was it? Uh, maybe I can get it quickly before. Let's just say 1.40. It's about 17 bucks. Yeah, so I'm going to reinvest that $17. You best believe it. Oh, look, it did not. Sometimes that happens. It's 1.4, yeah. Definitely 17. So 17 bucks. Yeah, I'm going to compound my interest almost daily if it's $17. I, <laughs> yeah, if it's probably more than 10 bucks. I'm going to uh, claim that on a daily basis. So jewel prices increased. Oopsie, quite a bit, as you can see. And we'll go here, and we'll do half of this jewel. Mm. I put some, I think, into the bank earlier, if I'm not mistaken. So point seven. Uh, Phantom, we said swap. Confirm. And I'm going to show everything. It's going to be a fairly quick video. It's going to show the numbers for everything on the um, the Excel sheet. But very quickly just show how we go in here and reinvest these liquidity pools max. Yep, show you show you about right. Sometimes you have to wait a second for the contract to acknowledge. The decision is required or decision is ready to be made. So that's pretty pretty much good to go once you get to that step. Go back out here and plant this back in the garden quickly. Because it's already probably started accruing. Oh, hey, I was here, Max. Deposit. So what you saw there is that I collected the jewel that I had was like 1.4 jewels for that I collected overnight in one day, about 17 bucks. I turned half of that jewel into phantom. So now I have half jewel, half phantom. I take the half jewel, half phantom to the druid, create a liquid liquidity pair. So now I'm putting money into the bank that at all the trader fees, I get some of that money as well take that liquidity pair to the garden and plant it. So now it's being recompounded and that gives me the jewel every day. So it's, I get jewel to buy more of the liquidity pairs, which gives me more jewel. And that's how you kind of hyper compounding your um, jewel growth in this game. So now you can see we are now 12.4 lock jewel in the balance here. Probably just like, you know, scrums of jewel left and but guess what i'm not gonna say i'm greedy but i'm just prudent with my money so i will go and deposit them scrums 
I have no problem doing that. <laughs> but I um, will explain why I took uh, put about 60 bucks more in here earlier. And I think I, I put most of that in Jewel. And so I just put it into the bank. I didn't buy a liquidity pair. I just put it into the bank. So let's get to it really briefly and quick. Let's run through it. Uh, the DeFi 2 protocols have been taking a beating, but that's okay, and you'll see why in a second. Um, DeFi Kingdoms has been a huge winner for us in, in a, the, the span of a couple of days, but you got to be careful with any and all of this. So I'm going to show you how where things are at now. Clima, you see we started with 0.51. We now have 1.05, but we put in $1,000, and we have... $327 worth. Climb is less than $327 per, per one. It was at $2,000 when we bought it. So we doubled how much we have, but it probably went down a, you know, a seventh in price. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't laugh if we didn't have such a great win up ahead. So, but you know, we're in the long run for it. We will see where it would go in the future. We will keep an eye on it. We are continuing to grow our climber. You see, you know, it's growing steadily. Snowbank, the same. Decline. Wonderland, decline. Umi Finance, decline. Um, Ohm, decline. Spartac Spartacus, it seemed like we got liquidated on some of our Spartacadabra holdings. So that's, that was a bit of a bust in that regard as well. I mean, you know, didn't know the market was going to take a downturn. Um, Sheba's doing bad. Uh, Elron with the Myrip has been kind of been holding steady. You know, this doesn't represent um, the liquidity pair has been staying the same, but our LockMex, and now I've, I've also put some into the Ride token on that app. And I can show that on the next one. You know, it's, it's, it's been sh probably every three or four days I go in there, I have probably about, so the price has been dropping in as well, but every three or four days, I probably have about almost 20% more of my um, holdings to, to add to either the lock. So I was thinking probably in a month or so, I'll be able to take out my initial holding, period. So... And like I said, when the prices go back up on any any and all of this stuff, then it'll look like, wow, look how smart. So everything's on sale for now. You can see how these are increasing in value even while they're decreasing in value, which I know doesn't make sense. But increasing in the amount, the quantity you have, why the amount of it goes down. But these prices are cyclical and everything follows Bitcoin. Bitcoin has been going down. Um, Geist, almost full and steady, but that, that one's kind of underperforming. Some of these that are really underperforming, like these, even though they're underperforming, the amount is going up. My Geist amounts are not going up that much. So this would be something I may say in a month or so, let's just pull out what we can, leave whatever's locked in there to go, but you know, allocate that to somewhere else that may be a little bit more beneficial. Um, so here you'll see that Grim Finance, um, there was a hack. We didn't get touched. We actually made money there. We put in $52, 52.91. We took out 61.35. That was the 60, about $60 that I added to the, um, DeFi Kingdoms today was from the Grim Finance. Took the money out because they, they, they told everybody just take all your funds out because they can't guarantee the safety of it because of the nature of the hack. So took the funds out, moved it over to DeFi Kingdoms. I might have said finance, but DeFi Kingdoms. Uh, but um, having, you know, the Reaper Tomb and the Reaper T-Share haven't done too bad. You can see that um, the amounts are going up. Not that much for the T-Share, but T-Share is way more expensive. But the amounts are going up and the prices um, are somewhat holding steady for the T-share Reaper Farm. Not so much with Tomb, but, you know, Tomb has been like everything taking a beating. So keep an eye on things. We're slow and steady win the race. We're not in a rush for anything. It's going to keep track. 
keep pace, keep an eye. The only thing that probably seems to be underperforming to me right now seems to be besides like Snowbank, um, Snowbank, but um, it's possibly the guys. So we're going to keep an eye on guys for maybe another two weeks. And if so, if this keeps seem to be not, you know, because you'd be like, well, look, all of these, look at Climb. Climb was super underperforming, 100%, you know, but like I said, the price may swing back another direction. What's important is the rebasting that within almost six weeks, almost about what, five weeks or so, we went from 0.5 and I may, I don't think I had it anywhere. I, may, I don't think so, I may have. Don't seem like I have, but we've doubled that amount. And so if it was, you know, if it was still at 2000, we would have Put one thousand in, we would have two thousand. We seem like geniuses. So, in this, you gotta. People are so. Oh, I gotta get money right away. They think you go ten x in a week, and that's not usually the case. And don't ever get comfortable when it is. Like here, you know, like I said, we put about two thousand total in through that sixty in a day. I would say about twenty one hundred total into DeFi kingdoms. Earlier today was at three thousand and thirty four. Now it was you know it was at twenty nine thirty four. Is it? 29.94 when I came to write this earlier, it's it's gone up by 50, almost 50% in about three or four days. Oh, now don't get it twisted. I think this is still the, the tip of the iceberg. You know, pardon all the puns. Maybe it's another day I get another pun in, but it's the tip of the iceberg for DeFi Kingdom. So I expect this to go. I don't expect, none of this is financial advice. Don't trust anything or anybody. None of this is any type of advice ever. I garble stuff and get stuff wrong. Just, you know, look, don't, don't bother me with nothing. Mm -hmm. I just saw that <clears throat> bother me for a second. So, Gonna let you go with that. DeFi Kingdoms is doing super well. Uh, Myar surprisingly is kind of maintaining even the face of all this, you know, everything going. They also had another downtime for a couple of days. It hasn't been me that has been trying to wait for three or four days to, uh, <laughs> to, to um, um, what was the word I'm trying to say? Oh, uh, reinvest my money. They Their app is down every other couple of days, so. You know, uh, but I think this may have been the first time I was. So this may have been more than a week's worth of money. Or when did we first go into this? Was the oh twenty six? So I uh, think about three weeks. That may have been about three weeks in a profit. Said so for this account that I was able to um, reinvest. And yeah, it's um that's been holding it. I also say the Reaper Farm T share has been holding its weight. Other than that, not so much these other ones, but they have definitely have a chance of coming back and being big winners. So I'm not counting any of them out, except for maybe we talked about it several times. So that's my thoughts with that. I love you. You love you. God loves us. And that's all that matters.